Every day, we get a new chance to start again. You read the title, you clicked on this video for a reason, and you know what you need to do because it's that voice inside of you and you tell it, shh, it's inside of you every single day. It keeps telling you what to do and you keep going, shh, be quiet. And then sometimes we'll convince ourselves like, oh, we don't have what it takes. We're not ready for this. We will come up with every reason, every excuse in the book to keep saying not yet. Here's what you must understand. We were put on this earth for a reason. Your purpose is much bigger than working for someone else and helping someone else build their dream. You were meant for so much more than that. We were put on this earth to pave the way for our own dreams, to go after what we truly want and not build someone else's life. It all starts with shedding your old self. It's the 1.0 version of you. You need to step into the 2.0 version. You know people will get upset. You know you're gonna lose people. And you need to understand that that's okay because people come and go. I'm 30 years old and there's countless people that have come and gone out of my life. And the real ones, they always stay. They always support no matter what. You being afraid to let go of these people is stopping you from reaching your fullest potential because you have infinite potential. Each and every single one of us does. And you are stopping yourself from reaching that infinite potential when you hold on to people for too long. When you hold on to the wrong people, the right people stay and the wrong ones leave. When you become a magnet and you attract the right people into your life and then you repel the wrong ones. And you know exactly who you need to get rid of. You know exactly who it is. I don't need to tell you who that is. You think about them all the time and you keep saying, this just isn't right anymore. It doesn't feel right. It's you feel it within you. It's the ick, it's the ugh, it's the this person that makes fun of you all the time, this person that doesn't support you, that crushes you, that makes you feel like shit about those big dreams that you have and they talk small to you and they just aren't meant to be in your life anymore. And sometimes it's hard for them to leave too because they've been with you for so long. I'm talking years. This is the type of person that's gotta go first and foremost. Get rid of them, snip, snip. The biggest reason you need to get rid of these types of friends is because they're holding you back from going after it. They're making you eat junk food all the time. They're making you watch movies that you've seen a thousand times and you're tired of seeing them over and over again, right? They're making you do things that you don't wanna do anymore. Those things that you wanna quit so that you can go after your big dream. You need to get rid of these people. They are not your friends. They are your friends. You need better friends because they keep you living in those old patterns. And in order to step into that 2.0 version of you, you need to step away from the 1.0 version who has all the bad patterns, all those old patterns that you don't want anymore. Drinking, smoking, eating junk food, anything that isn't pushing you to do better. And why is that? Because it depletes your energy from going after what you truly want to. It's depleting your energy. The good energy that you need to go after what it is that you want. And it keeps you broke. It keeps you spending money that you don't have. You are spending the wrong money. It's like a credit card, right? You're spending it and you're gonna owe it back. And it's gonna be owed back with your health. So that's why I'm saying quit these bad habits, quit these old patterns, quit hanging around with these bad people and just do what you know you need to do. Cause you know what you need to do. It's that voice inside of you and it keeps coming up and like I said earlier, shh, doesn't work. Stop telling it to be quiet and let it speak for you. And the reason I'm so passionate about this is because this is what happened to my mom. She lived this type of life and I saw what it did to her. I saw it catch up to her really fast. She ate all the junk food, she indulged, she spent time with the wrong people. She didn't do things that she truly wanted to do with her life and she let these bad habits and these old patterns that she would try to escape from always come back and overtake her. My mom should still be alive today. My mom should still be here with me. She died young, she died at 65, okay? I don't want that to happen to you. Do the right thing because you know what you need to do. So now that you know what you need to do, you just do it and it starts today. Don't wait until tomorrow. But yes, every day is a new chance to start. Like I said, that's okay. But little steps every day and just putting in the work and taking care of yourself and getting rid of those bad friends and those toxic old behaviors that version 1.0 of you had, right? Step into 2.0, step into your future self. She knows what you need to do and she's ready to grab you and hold you tight, okay? Just keep going. And the sooner you do it, the faster you'll get there. That's why I'm saying start now, but every day is a new day. So you can also start tomorrow but a little bit today isn't gonna hurt because the sooner you do it, the faster you'll get there. And you'll feel so much better. I'm talking a world of a difference better. You will feel like a weight has been lifted off of your shoulders when you finally start living the true authentic version of yourself that you have been pushing off for years. 
for so long. She is so ready for you. She is that voice inside of you. Just stop being like, shh, stop telling her to be quiet. Let her speak, let her talk, and let her guide you because you're meant for so much more than this. You are meant to pave your own dreams. You are not meant to work for someone else. You are not meant to help build somebody else's dream. You are meant to build your own dream and you are meant for so much more. And all you need to do is just put things into action every single day, 1% better every day, baby. Just keep going. It hurts me, honestly, to see so many people out here that just have so much potential and it's just getting wasted every single day because you just can't stop doing what you know you're not supposed to do anymore. It doesn't just require you going after the thing, it requires you quitting the bad thing as well. Just let go of these old people, these old patterns, these old habits, the old 1.0 version of you has got to go in order for you to step into that 2.0 version. And the idea of the dream is worthless unless you do something about it. You can dream every day, but unless you put in the action, unless you put in the work, unless you do what it takes, all it is is an idea. All it is is a dream right? You need to go and do it. And here's the biggest thing now, okay? Because I know this sounds so exciting and I know you're ready, but the biggest thing you need to understand is that you just have to focus on one thing at a time. It's all about essentialism. If you have too many things going on, you will give up. It won't work. You need to stay focused on the biggest thing that is going to make the most impact on your life. And then you will keep going. Stop worrying about all the small little details. That's for later, okay? Focus on the big things that are going to push you forward. Those big things that you don't necessarily wanna do, but you know, you know inside of you, right? That they are going to get you moving forward. They are gonna get you going after it. It's like a puzzle. You have all the little pieces in the middle, right? Focus on the border first. To make that border first and then fill in those tiny little puzzle pieces at the end later on. And if you keep worrying about all those little puzzle pieces, those are all the little details, right? It'll stop you from getting started. It's so much easier too to get that border done first and foremost. Now, when you start changing all of these things too, okay, people aren't going to understand what's going on when you are stepping into this future version of yourself that you are changing and things aren't the same because as humans, we love things that are familiar. We are creatures of habit. We love things that are comfortable and no one likes change, but you need to understand this. You need to reassure people that this is the new you. This is who you want to be. This is who you are now are. You aren't that 1.0 version of you anymore. You're the 2.0 version. People will say like, oh, you've changed. Like this isn't who you used to be. Like, why aren't you doing this thing anymore? Like, why aren't you into art anymore, Michael? And that's, a, I've had people say this. I used to do artwork. I used to paint. I used to draw and I used to love it. And honestly, I would probably still do it in my free time if I felt like it, but I just don't. And people grew to know and love me as the girly who loved to do artwork. And I'm very passionate about business. I've been very passionate about business for years now, since 2016 to be exact. And there's still people out there like my grandma, right? She still thinks I love to draw. I don't draw anymore. It's just not who I am. And that's okay. I just reassure grandma, hey, I'm not into drawing anymore. It's just not what I'm into. Sometimes it takes reintroducing yourself to people for them to fully understand. And many times it's okay. Just keep telling people that you are not that same person anymore. You are a new person and you are going after new things, new opportunities. You're open to receiving everything that the world has to offer because girl, the universe is limitless, okay? You can do anything you want to in this life. I promise you that. All you need to do is just keep doing it and keep believing in yourself and keep being passionate about it. Be your authentic self. Keep showing up as yourself. Stop pretending to be somebody you aren't anymore because that 1.0 version of you needs to go. Let her go. The right people, the new people that are waiting to meet you, that are so excited to meet you, that want to meet you, are being held back from meeting you because you're holding on to her. You need to let her go. You need to make room for these new people because they are excited to meet you. But if you have too many people in your life, it just doesn't work. Also understand this, some people will literally never get it, no matter how many times you try to tell them, how many times you try to convince them, how many times you're trying to say you're outgoing, you are confident, you are this or that, they just will understand, they'll hold on so tight to this old version of you, just accept it for what it is, because some people just will never understand, and that is okay. What is 
so important for you to understand is that you believe it, that you can keep stepping into this new version of you, that you can keep going after it. And here's the other thing too. If there's someone that doesn't believe in you and keeps holding you back and keeps saying you're this old version, you may need to let them go or distance yourself from them for a while. If it's somebody you are really close to, like mom or dad, right? They need to be distanced from for a bit if you're going through this transition and they are hindering your growth because I've been there and it's not fun. And that stops you from reaching your full potential. So if you've got somebody in your life like this, it's not forever, okay? It's just for a short amount of time. You just distance yourself away from them and then keep moving forward because we don't want people in our lives, even if we love them and even if they don't understand right now, they will understand later. This has happened to me and you rebond with your mom or dad and everything works out, okay? I promise you that. At least until you start making progress because if you just can't make progress and they are just stomping on it and they're hindering your growth, you just got to stay strong and know that they just don't get it right now. That's all it is. And here's another thing too. You need to be surrounding yourself with people that are going to support you, that are going to uplift you, that are going to help you go after your big dreams, help you go after what it is that you truly want to do because you know you don't want to do the thing that we mentioned earlier, which is work for someone else for the rest of your life or build someone else's dream. We want to build our own dreams. I'm here to help you every step of the way, girly. I have every single thing that you need that's gonna get you moving and gonna keep you keep going. So scroll down right now, click on that top link and let's get you making an impact on the world so you can do more of what you love and make money at the same time. I'll see you next time, bestie. Bye for now.